Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this Friday morning. Got a special, two special guests here in the studio and got really good information for you you're going to enjoy. But first, let's take a look at our weather brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning. Drew Pollard and his hardworking crew out here in Southport. We're looking at a high today of only 82 and low of 60. But guess what? We do have the water temperature this morning, but guess where we had to go get it? We had to go to the pass. We can't find it at the end of the pier. The water temperature at the pass is 78.3 degrees, so it has broken down below 80. That fall run has started, so be ready for, if you get a chance to get out there and, and try to catch some of the pompano, they're coming through right, right now. They're just starting. Okay, the river reading is brought to us by Mountain Dew. On the outdoors with Mountain Dew. Looking at the Apalachicola to Brunstown is a 7.3, and that Choctatchee Caribbean a 5.5. We mentioned this yesterday. Both rivers are pretty steady. And we got a really good forecast for the weekend fishing on the rivers and up in those creeks. So take advantage of that if you can. The tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn on 23rd Street. We're looking at, we're just getting out of neap tides. We got a pretty decent tide today and a real good tide tomorrow. We're looking at the low tide this morning at 7:30, right, pretty close uh, coming up, and the high tide at 10:25 this or later on tonight. So it'll be coming in, be strong because we're going to have a north northwest wind. Coming in about, actually calling it for 10, so be pretty strong wind, bringing in some of this cooler weather, hopefully. And we do need some rain. We're going to talk about that later on. But let me mention real quick, I was at BJ Marine yesterday to talk to Roger, and he wanted to remind y'all that Roger has plenty of parts. You know, a lot of these places don't have parts. Automobile dealers and all kinds of boat dealers. Roger's got a great inventory of new and used parts for Evan Root and Tohatsu. So I uh, go by there and... Uh, and get, take, take care of your stuff. It's amazing the amount of work he gets done over there. So anyway, let's take a break and we'll be right back with our guest. Okay, welcome back and welcome to our two special guests. Uh, this is a familiar face here now, Greg Williams. Everybody knows Greg. William Gunn and Pond, a Shriner for many, many years. Now, Jason, uh, uh, have, you haven't been on the show before, have you, Jason? No, sir, I have not been on the show before. Tell us quickly a little bit about yourself. Uh, I've been a Shriner for about 10 years. I uh, moved away from right after Michael, but I'm back, and and I, I love our children at the, the hospitals for children, Shriners Hospital. And, you know, this organization is just, you know, we're talking about all kinds of organizations. In, in my opinion, this organization right here is up, up here at top echelon. So, Greg, what have you been up to? Well, not much, I tell you. we got a lot going on. We do okay. got to let, let everyone know we got to, you know, our temple got destroyed. I know. At the uh, road by it, it, it's heartbreaking. It, it was very, very bad shape, but with the help of the nobles and our people, we've got it back up. We got it going again. We had our first first Friday dinner last month. Everything went very, very good. We we was proud of it. We had that first Friday dinner every month. So it's starting the first Friday. Starting on back first dinner? Friday, we have dinners. Okay. And everyone is welcome. Uh, we tried to get our temple back to go, and I'm in the shrine for one reason, that's for the kids. Mm -hmm. But we, the temple's got to be there for us to uh -huh. do things. Uh, we got a lot going on in our temple. We've got the, uh, uh, person, my, my girls is very involved with me. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, and they, they really helped me a lot, and they are actually uh, putting on a pistol and purse bingo. Okay. On Saturday night. Okay, I tomorrow think, night. So we're talking about tomorrow night, right? Uh, that's correct. Saturday night. Okay. That's right. And they, I think they may have three or four tables left. You can contact Missy at the pawn shop, 850-271-2130. We have gone to pawn. Just yes. Okay. And she uh, lets you know if there's tables available. Uh, we have different prices. But we really have a good time. Them women love to get out there. It's a bunch of women. Well, and the they, men come too now. Yeah, but they, they got a, what, they got all kinds of stuff out there. First bingo. Uh, they, yeah, they, they play for a purse one game and play for a pistol the next game. I, I love mean, it. We, we do quite a few games, and we raise quite a bit of money for the Shrine doing that. Uh, we are coming back. We're back. The okay. Shriners are back, and we you don't see us on the streets at this time, but... Uh, 
our imperial uh, told us that that we could not get out on the streets with the COVID that we've yeah, had. You know, COVID's been a mess, but we're hoping to come back this year and you'll see the Shriners out and about on the streets. Uh, but we are, we got a lot of things going on. We got the pistol and purse bingo. Now, next Saturday night, mm -hmm. uh, not yeah, on the tomorrow, 30th, the 30th. on the 30th, mm -hmm. we are doing a trunk or treat at the, at the temple. It starts okay. at five to seven. Yeah. Five to seven. Okay. And uh, we are trying to make this a big thing. We got we we got our unit buildings. We, we we're doing a little decorations. We want the kids to come through. There'll be cars set up there, passing out candy. The unit buildings will be passing out candy. The ladies has really brought this up, and wanted to do it, and they actually uh, are. Popping popcorn, I gonna think. Be, there's going to be popping, uh, popcorn and other snacks and drinks right. for the kids. And everyone's invited to come out. And it'll be like out there in the parking lot. Right it'll be, there. we have a circle behind our temple okay. with the little buildings. Okay. And we're going to let them park and walk through just like they'll be trick or treat. That trunk or treat around different places is really yes. popular. And really it has. It's it, safe it, and it's very productive. It, it yeah. has. And uh, we got that going on. Uh... We also got, like I mentioned, the first Friday dinner. I'll okay. be on the 6th of November. Okay. Uh, what we do, the uh, divan at the temple, we furnish the meats, and every lady brings a covered dish. There's no charge for this. We do put a donation mm -hmm. thing out and get what donations we can because... If you could have seen our temple, we need everything we can get it. It time. really it, got hit hard. I it got hit I, very hard. When I first saw it, I, about the time I got over there, it was about a week or two later after everything, and I was just, I was almost shocked by how hard it got hit. Our air conditioning was completely laying on the parking lot. It lifted yeah. off the building. It, it, it was, it was very bad. We had to, it, we had to gut the building completely. Yeah. And we got it back though. It looks very, very good. We had a, we all the nobles got involved. We had yeah. one or two that's special to me that really yeah. did a lot of work in there. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not going to mention no names because I don't want to leave nobody out. Forget somebody out. I'm the same way. Yeah. yeah uh, I think I, when I looked at it, first thing crossed my mind. I think one of the little tornadoes must just hit smack dab on it the way I'll it hit. I tell you it, what, it, it, it was, was very, bad. very bad. It tore us up bad. But the good and news, y'all are back now. I mean, we're back. We're going to get bigger. Yeah. Uh, I will next year. I was potentate the year this happened, mm -hmm. and I, it, it really hurt. Me. Uh, I really hurt my year, but now I'm going to get more. I will be potentate again next year, by the way. Oh, congratulations. I'm, I'm going to go back and be potentate again. Actually, this is Chief for Bad. He'll be potentate the year after me. No kidding. I will. Awesome. So, Looking forward to it. Very and so good. we are trying to get it back. We're going to do a lot of things. We're going to get involved with the community. We're going to do, uh, do things for the people. Mm -hmm. Main thing, like I said, I'm involved for is the kids. Mm -hmm. Now, in December, that's a big uh, month for us. We have what we call uh, a Christmas party for our kids. Santa Claus flies in on the helicopter. Oh, and cool. It's all a good thing. Everyone is invited. If you had never been to one of our Christmases for the kids, you need to come and see. Mm -hmm. We feed them. They get gifts. Santa Claus, they sit in Santa Claus's lap. They just have him a good time. <laughs> And most of them are our kids that we send to the hospitals. Yeah. Every one of them. But we do let the others come also. Mm -hmm. uh, well, what we do do on that now, if you bring your child and he's not one of our patients mm -hmm. in order so they don't get their feelings hurt, bring a little gift, mm -hmm. put it under the tree, and then Santa Claus will call them up front also. And talk to them. That's some exciting things coming up. Okay, look, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come right back. Okay, welcome back, folks. Sit here with Jason and, and Greg. And we're going to, before we get back with the Shriners, I've got some uh, quick pictures to show you, some little announcements and all. And I want to show this. Uh, we asked Glory Turner. She showed that custom built rod she got from Steve Rogers at Sand Hill Sticks. And I said, send a picture of the first fish you caught. And here it is right here. She caught this one. Glory Turner caught this on a, a new rod from uh, Sand Hill Sticks. That's, that's a good good fish right there. Then I got an announcement real quick. Uh, 
Terry from Blue Water Outriggers say, hey, Coach, we have four signed copies of, of your book at Blue Water Outriggers. So there are four books left at Blue Water if you want to do some early Christmas shopping. And one more announcement, too. Um, my buddy Bill Barlow is actually selling his boat. Now, I fished on this boat. This is a fine boat. This is a, this is a scout, a 17-foot scout, which is a well-made boat. And it's, uh, he's had it for a long time, taken care of it, 24-boat trolling motor, 110 Yamaha. Uh, he had a detail uh, by Paul Flake. And, it's, uh, and I'm going to show, he watches the show every day, too. So here's a boat right here. This is a good-looking boat. Greg, that's a good-looking boat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. And I'm serious. If you want a serious fishing boat, this is it. So let me give you the number. Okay, uh, let's see. Bill Barlow. I don't know if I got a number. Okay, I will get you the number. I don't see the number anywhere. Okay, so anyway, uh, Bill, Bill Barlow has got it's for twelve thousand dollars. That's a good deal. Yeah. You know, this day, the boats are real expensive. Bill Barlow. Okay, so uh, call me if you're interested. I'll get Bill's number for you. Okay. Now let's get back to Shriner. So what else we got? All right. Gonna mention again, like everyone is welcome at our events. Unless it's a stated meeting or something, we want the people to get involved. Okay. Uh, next year, like I said, I, I, I should be potentate again. We're gonna come up with our rodeo. It'll be back in March. All right. I want to come on back on the show with you with Mr. Jim Jenkins. He puts on the rodeo yeah. for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to come back and be with you. Let you know what we got going on there. We really did outstanding this year with our rodeo. Good deal. Uh, that, and I did do a benefit, and I will have another benefit, which I'll talk about in next year when I get on here, as far as I do a, it's just like a banquet. Uh -huh. we, I mean, we have good food, good time, and good social, socializing yeah. with people. But, uh, but we got a lot going on. Uh, I plan on doing a lot next year. Uh, we're gonna let people know the Shriners are the back Shriners in are Panama back. City. I, I'm glad to be y'all gonna be back because the different banquets and organizations have their uh, meetings once a year there, and I, I we get some good food there. I, yeah. I love going to the Shriners. You talk, yeah. about, you talk about fellowship and getting to see a lot of folks. And you, you see a lot of people that you wouldn't believe me. Uh, they, you hadn't seen in a long time. And you got you, you see a lot of your old students. I know. Look at here, Jason. One of them. Look, <laughs> I hear Jason. What class you have me in? Uh, and I graduated in 91, uh, okay. a so couple we, years before that. Okay, so we had all kinds of stuff. So anyway, uh, we, we're glad, uh, we're so glad y'all are back. And I know one of the things, the bottom line, everything they do, the bottom line is they're helping kids. That's what it's all about. And, and, uh, what are some of the things y'all do? I know it's a long list, but I know y'all. Well, we help uh, children that have orthopedic needs, uh, children with cleft palates. We also have a hospital for children that are injured because they were burned. Yes. Um, children that have scoliosis, they actually take a rod and they put the rod in their back and it's got screws in it and they slowly straighten them out and it gives support to the child. Um, they help children who normally couldn't even ride a bike or participate in sports. Mm -hmm. uh, if they need a, a, an appendage, a, a leg, a mm -hmm. foot, We'll give them a leg, but we won't just give them one. We'll give them one for everyday use, and then we'll give them one for when they want to play soccer awesome. or ride a bicycle. That's awesome. And I know one thing, too, you know, the transportation. Y'all provide transportation so many times. And We've got away from that, Winston, but Have yes, we, yes okay. we, we actually do fly. Our, okay. Do you know they closed the hospital in Tampa, and they, we had to fly them out. What, where did we We send them to Galveston, or yeah. they still okay. have a clinic in Tampa, Okay. and they're the, the new format for, for Shriners Hospital is to go from having 22 hospitals to having a lot more clinics. So okay. they're putting a clinic in Gainesville that. now, okay. and they're talking about putting a clinic throughout the country and having these where the kids don't have to travel so far to go to the hospitals. They'll go to the clinics for the checkups, Okay. and then when they have a surgery, they'll either go to the hospital, they can travel there themselves, and we pay for that. Okay. okay. We, we do, uh, we will take one, if, yeah. you know, if they have, but we usually hand their parents the money, mm -hmm. and they take kids, and they mm -hmm. get them a room and make sure they took care of them when they go take their kids. The family's involved. But uh, we, we kind of got away from driving them ourselves. Okay, I didn't know but that. But we will do it. I know y'all have driven yeah, a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We really have. Yeah. 
But uh, but we are we're very happy with our temple now. We we coming back like I said, mm -hmm. we're back, and we're gonna do a lot for the community. If you have children that's in need of one of these things that Jason mentioned, mm -hmm. get a hold of our temple. Call us. We'll get y'all involved. We'll get you at the hospital. We'll get you fixed. That's great. That's what it's about to me. If yeah. you watch our commercials on television, yeah. oh, they're unbelievable. Those little old boys. <laughs> oh, I talking. know. I you, tear yeah. your heart out. But I it's, will. And it's just amazing. Okay, we're going to take our final break, and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Listen, take a look at our fishing game times right now, brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers. We're looking at this morning, 1241 to 241, this afternoon after lunch, 103 to 303. And listen, we don't have our pickle jar with us at Studio B. I forgot it. So the next time we do the drawing, we're going to do two drawings. So we're going to give away eight, eight prizes the next time we'll make it up. And the fishing forecast we did early part of this week. Greg, outdoor stuff, I know you love outdoors. and. By the way, I, I, I got invited, my wife and I did, to the William family reunion last year. By the way, we're having that in November. I okay, keep me posted. Yeah, we had the best time up there off Highway 20 and the big farm up there. Well, tell me about your food plots. But I tell you, I told people, I got them all in the ground last week, Wilson, but I told you know how much rain we had, and it was so bad around here. Mm -hmm. And now, I don't even get a drop of rain. So Just I, as soon as I, if you'll plant them food plots, the rain stops. That's exactly so right. That's what that's you know, happened to a lot of folks. That, that rain, really rain, happened rain, to me. The ground's wet, you put it in there, no rain. It's bad <laughs> to have to go out and water your food box, <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah, it is. Okay, Jason, how, how can someone, tell us how someone can become a Shriner. Well, the easiest way for someone to become a Shriner is to go be a shrinernow.com. And we have a mentor, a mentor program established that will, once you give the information on the website, someone will contact you and we'll walk you through the process of becoming a Shriner so you can par participate in our parades and our other events. Uh, okay, and, and like I say, all throughout the year, your calendar of events, y'all got something going on every month just about it. Yes, we do. We, there'll be something next year, there'll be something every month. Yeah. We're in the 4th of July parade in Lynn Haven, mm -hmm. and when Christmas comes, We'll be in three or four Christmas parades. We're usually in the Wausau Christmas Parade, yeah. the Chipley Parade, yeah. the Parade in Port, Port St. Joe. We will. First okay. weekend in November is the Seafood Festival. Yeah, you're going to be in that We're going to have people down there in that parade. Okay, what about the Veterans Day? Do y'all do that? Do we do. do. Okay. The Callaway Veterans Day. The Callaway Veterans Day. Yes, we right. usually go to Callaway, and, and we're also in that parade. Everybody loves parades. Oh, they do? <laughs> i tell you what, we got... So our units that's involved, hot rods, uh, the Buccaneers, yeah. they're involved. I tell you, they got their ship. They bring it out. The ship, and yeah. the ship will be there uh, Saturday night mm -hmm. at the Trunk and Treat, too. Okay. So the kids can get on it. The, but the Buccaneers is very, very involved with the. That's one of our units. We have different units there. Buccaneers, the, you, if you become a Shriner, you can join one of these units and get involved. You have the antique mm -hmm. cars. We yeah. call that the cruisers. We yeah. got the bike, the bikers. Mm -hmm. We have the clown unit. So you got we, something to fit everybody. What, yes, what whatever they want. We, when you become a Shriner, we want you to get involved. We yeah. want you to get involved and want to mm -hmm. do things. Get out there and let's do things. And there are Shriners in almost every community here in the Pan or area. I mean, like oh, Mariana yes. and Chipley. Yes, and sir. We got, a, we got a little clubhouse in, in mm -hmm. Mariana. We got one in a... Chipley. Okay. And we go up to their Shrine Club. We always go to their Watermelon Festival Parade. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. go up there every year, and, and they have a dance up there usually. And I'm going to guess, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to guess that y'all eat pretty good when you go to those places. Oh, yeah. You're going to eat good. I'm telling I'll you, tell folks. You. The Shrine food is just when they come up with it. And like I said, all these banquets, all different organizations have these things at your club and all. Those have always been good. They always get involved. Yeah. Yes, they do. And it's been uh, Ducks Unlimited, uh, NRA, all kinds of different people and all doing things and all. And uh, most of them are Shriners. Shriners are just room that, for that, Shriners. That's right. A lot of them are. Our okay. potentate this year, Mr. Luster, Sir Mark Dragon, he's done a lot for the temple okay. this year. He's been good. We've enjoyed him being the potentate mm -hmm. this year. He's he's done a lot. Uh, 
So are you training? Are you training Jason, right? He's training. Uh, yeah. yeah, it takes yeah. a couple of years to get trained to get in <laughs> the line. Can so. you, you didn't you teach him? Oh, yeah, way back. Well, in that, is yeah. he hard to train? Yeah, you will. You got it. You got it. Yeah, you, yeah. I'll be <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what I'm. That, yeah. That's what I'm up against, Jason. You got to make him behave. Now. He probably behaves more now. No, he, he's yeah. good. Good kid. I'm sure. But uh, yeah, Jason's gonna be fine. Uh, we got. Other people coming behind him. Well, I'm, I'm proud to see these, these younger people coming in here to fill That's in the That's what shoes. we need. Yeah. I need some younger people to get involved uh, oh, you to know, do we, these banquets that I do, mm -hmm. to do the things that I do. Mm -hmm. I do I do two good, actually we do it, the person pistol bingo twice a year okay. and and the uh, banquet once a year. Mm -hmm. And, that's, and the daughter? rodeo done very, very good this past year. Yeah. Got out, sold sponsors, and when we come back on the show in January yeah. or February, whenever you can get me back on, okay. we want to talk about the rodeo, the sponsorships, and how you can get involved okay. in the rodeo, and just come out and be part of it. And uh, speaking of uh, tickets, I ran by William Gunn upon yesterday, I bought two tickets for the uh, Crime Stoppers. Uh, they want to have Rusty on the early part of the week. I bought two tickets, so, and I hope I win one of the guns and all. But all the things y'all have going on, it just amazes me a different variety of stuff. And getting the young people in, like you say, that's going to help a lot. I know your daughters help a lot. My daughters is unbelievable. They are. Me. They, they, yeah. they, Jason, they, they do. They take they, care of daddy's business. Yeah, they do. They take care of their daddy. They, 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 work really, for, they, work, they do a lot of work for our, for yeah. our shrine and yes, our sir. children. Yeah. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Maybe we might get them to come on next time. We might. Yeah, they, they, that Let them come take my place. No, they're not gonna take your place. They come with, with that, you. That's something. right. They would well, be. They would love to. All right, we gotta start wrapping things up. So we got we got the trunk or treat coming up Saturday. I mean uh, the fall, two, Saturday week, and then this week got a purse bingo. Yes, this Saturday. That's right. Okay. And if they wanna be a Shriner, just go online. Be a Shrinernow dot com. Be a Shrinernow dot com. And if any questions at all. Call my daughter at Williams Gun and Pump. Yeah. And she'll she'll get you a hold of she'll, me. She'll find the answer. Yes, sir. <laughs> she <laughs> will do that. <laughs> Okay, folks, thank y'all so much for coming on. Guys. Thanks for having us on the show. So good to see you, Jason, again. All right. Always good, good to see you, Greg. Be we got to check on that family reunion now. So I'll let you know about that. Okay, buddy. Thank y'all for watching Panhandle Outdoors. Y'all have a great weekend. Do something fun and outdoors, but always, like these guys, do something good for your fellow man. Have a great day, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.